Welcome back to the Habit-Based Lifestyle Podcast. I'm your host, Jesse Ewell, and today we're going to be talking about the habit of pain. Are you choosing money over pain? Now, what I'm going to speak of today is a conversation, or at least an interview I had a few days ago, specifically around the conversation of pain. Pain is the thing where we get ourselves in a situation, we get ourselves into this place where we can't stop hurting. It doesn't go away. You see, I get the opportunity every single week to coach, to train, to mentor, to interview entrepreneurs, and we talk about business. They talk about, man, I want to take my business to the next level. And a lot of these people I get to talk to, a lot of these entrepreneurs I get to talk to, they are working with a business coach or they are working with someone to help them take their business to the next level. But here's what I've begun to found out. Most business coaches are liars. Most business coaches are liars, and here's why. And I hope this triggers you. If you are a business coach and you're listening to this, I hope this triggers you. See, they tell you they can help you with your business. They promise you that they're going to help you with X, Y, and Z, and usually it comes down to marketing, messaging, sales systems, something to do with business. But the problem is this, you can't solve a problem in your business when the problem is in another area of life. You see, the truth is your business doesn't work because of you. And if your problem exists in another area of life, no matter how much marketing, no matter how many sales you begin to make, no matter how much tactics you begin to implement, it will not fix your business. You see, none of these things will fix your business if you're not in alignment with yourself first. You see, if you don't believe in you, how the hell do you believe in what you're offering or what you're selling? And if your marriage isn't working, It actually carries over to your business. You see, the same skill set and the same mindset it takes to be married, to have a relationship, is the same skill set and mindset it takes to build a business. It's not that much different. In fact, it's very similar. If you can't get your wife to have sex with you, if you can't get your spouse to have sex with you, it's going to show up somewhere in your sales process and your business because it's the same strategic thinking. And here we are with people wanting to start businesses, wanting to build and create their business, yet there's people all over Facebook, people all over social media, and they're not even attracting the right person. And if you're not attracting the right person, no one's going to buy from you. (coughs) But attracting the right person is about you knowing you and knowing who you're attracting. If we go one step further, if your fitness isn't working, you're going to be barely tapping into the true power of, of your business. And so there's these business coaches that don't talk about, hey, If you're not taking care of your energy inside of your body, inside of your fitness, inside of your nutrition, well, guess what? It's showing up inside of your business. You're not going to have the same confidence. You're not going to have the same power. It doesn't mean you can't be fat and make money. It just means that, hey, this is going to end up being an anchor at some point on your business. It means that if you, you are struggling in your marriage... There's going to be an anchor in your business. Either you're going to do one of two things. You're going to put all your attention on your business and you're going to get even more disconnected from your family 
or you're just not going to know how to show up for either one. And you're going to remain in pain. And then the other side of this is this. No tactics will help your business. No amount of business coaching will help your business if you're not in alignment with you. And what does that mean? If you're not in alignment with you, if you don't believe in you, in what you are selling or what you are offering, if you don't believe at your core that what you are offering, and you don't believe in you, period, you're going to see that. People are going to see through that. People will know that you won't be able to help them. And guess what? You can't speed up results in business if you have an anchor in some other area of life. And here is the reality. Most people drive all towards business and they say, listen, I'm going to I'm going to change my business and that's going to just change everything else, but it's backwards. You can't speed up results in business with an anchor in some other area of your life. And no business coach is going to help you with that and they're not going to expose that truth inside of you. You see, once you fix the anchor, then your business can begin to accelerate. Once you fix the anchor, then your business can accelerate. Imagine you and you have this brand new boat. You may call the boat a business. And imagine if this brand new boat has one, two, or three anchors tied. And they're tied down. No matter how fast you push the accelerator on the boat, no matter how fast you push the accelerator on your business, i.e. business coach, no matter how much you do that, guess what's going to happen? The engine's going to blow up, or the business is going to blow up, or you're going to blow up because you are the business. And it's going to be redlining in the process of that happening. And if it redlines, guess what? You have no more business. You have no more boat. The engine blows up. And not only that, but you blow up. So the reason why I want to talk about this is I got into a conversation uh, with a man the other day where he's been in an enormous amount of pain. He's actually uh, walked through a divorce uh, about 18 months ago. And I happened to have uh, several conversations with him. Uh, and he just was never really ready to step into it. He's like, hey, I have this coach. And I'm like, okay, cool. Um, but the problem is he's still in, in the exact same position he was a year ago. And yes, he's you know kind of built his business, but he's still not super clear on what he's offering and what he's doing. But in this case, he spent thousands of dollars on his business, and yet he's still in the exact same pain and he's in the almost the exact same place in his business that he was a year ago. He's not any more successful or any more uh, free, any more less pain, feeling any more less pain than he was a year ago. And you guess this. He's not like he doesn't have a business problem. He does have a business problem, but that, that's not problem number one. Problem number one is an issue in another area of life. He's struggling. This man is struggling. And the reason why I share this story with you is not, not to talk about the man, but to talk about the problem of the man. Not to put him down, but to talk to you about the problems that we have as entrepreneurs, as men, women, that if we continue to just focus on business, and not fix the root of the real problem, our fruit does not change. Our fruit will not change if we don't get to the root. Because here's what I know. You can't solve a business problem when the problem's in another area of life. It won't work. And so I asked this gentleman after spending 45 minutes to an hour with him, hey, listen, do you want to get out of pain? And he said, yes, man, I want to get out of pain so bad. And I said, well, are you committed to doing this? And he said, <coughs> excuse me, he said, yeah, I'm committed. 
And I said, or are you going to keep pretending that you have a business problem and keep focusing on that? And he's like, no, I want to get out of pain. And again, are you committed to getting out of pain? And he said, yes, but he said, listen, there's still a problem and he, that he doesn't have the money to get out of pain. And yet for the last year, he's continued to stay in the same pain, the same place. For the last year, his business has not changed that much. For the last year, he's felt the same way. His depression, his anxiety, all these things continue to go on. But he's choosing to do this one thing. He's choosing to do this one thing. He's choosing to stay in pain and remain the same. He's choosing to stay in pain and remain the same. And that's what pain does. Pain keeps us the exact same. Now think about this for a minute. If you broke your leg, it would be very similar to say, somebody saying, hey, listen, do you want to get out of pain? Do you want to get help? Or And I'll drive you to the hospital. Or do you want to just stay here and sit on the side of the road? And it would be like me saying, well, what is it going to cost me to go to the hospital? And I said, well, listen, it's going to cost you X amount of dollars. And all of a sudden they say, uh, you know what, that's too expensive. I think I'm just going to sit here and pain on the side of the road. Think about this. Would you actually do that if you were in so much pain in your life? But here's the problem that I see people come to is they get into so much pain, they begin to numb it out. They begin to numb it out to the point where they'll just continue to stuff it down. They'll stuff it down so far and numb it out that they'll turn to sedation. They'll turn to drugs, alcohol, weed. They'll turn to porn. They'll turn to some type of addiction to begin to take the pain away. And all the pain does is suppress what's really going on inside and the roots. See, this is one of the big problems in society today for entrepreneurs is we've gotten so used to operating in pain that we begin to sedate to get the pain away. See, I can remember a time in my life where I would felt so much pain. See, I was willing to do whatever it took to get out of it. I was willing to hire a coach for tens of thousands of dollars. I was willing to do the work to get out of pain because the cost of staying in pain was way more than the price I had to pay to get out. Let me say that one more time. The cost of staying in pain is way more money than the price you got to pay to get out. Fix the pain and then you can do anything including make money. Fix the pain and you won't stay the same. So how do you actually begin to get out of pain? If I was going to paint this out for you, number one is to become aware of the pain and the problem. That means if you're sedating on something, and trying to get rid of the pain, you're going to have to stop whatever that is that you're doing. You're going to have to stop sedating. You're going to have to stop suppressing the pain. And you're going to have to become aware of the problem and physically feel it. Feel the pain. Then you're going to have to decide how deep and how wide is this? How far back does this pain actually go? And how bad does this actually hurt? And the third part of this is you're going to have to identify the first step to take to actually get out of pain. And, and it's not growing your business. In fact, that's the last thing that you got to worry about. Even if you're broke, you can't grow your business being broke when you have anchors pulling you back. It just does not work. So once you identify the first step you take, you take that step. Because one of the problems with pain is sometimes taking the first step is the one that hurts the most. Because it means you're ready to move. And when you're ready to move and you've been in pain, it's a painful first step. But if you can take it, it can get that one, one step closer to getting out of pain. So here's the question I'm going to ask you. Where in your life are you choosing money? You're choosing your business over dealing with the pain and the painful reality of your life. 
Maybe it's inside of your fitness. Maybe it's inside of your spirituality. Maybe it's inside of your marriage and your relationships. And I can promise you this, it's not really inside of your business. As much as you want to believe it is, it's not. And so if you can begin to identify and become aware of the problem area of your pain, you can begin to dig down and find the root. And if you find the root, then you can begin to change the fruit. I want to thank you guys for being on here today. If you are looking to connect further with a group of like-minded people, join myself and so many others in the Habit-Based Lifestyle Secrets group on Facebook, where I will be dropping daily habits to help you live to your full potential. Maybe you want to be one of our next case studies and begin living this habit-based lifestyle. Feel free to reach out to me if you have questions, comments, requests, or reviews. Uh, we love five-star reviews. Feel free to contact me until next episode. Have a great day. Oh, 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 oh,